here before. The elevators are over there, so that means... We went into the kitchen through that door and came out on this side. That means the map was right. Looks like. Then let's use it to plan our next move. Next move? Yeah, we need to decide where to go from here, don't we? He's right. Let's get started. From the looks of it, there are four possible routes. Let's just keep it simple and call them A, B, C, and D. First, A and B. They both seem to connect to a room that looks L-shaped. Yeah, there were two doors. But they were both locked. We couldn't open them. Now, route C. This goes all the way to the main staircase. That means it's door five, one of the numbered doors. Then do you think we would meet up with the other four after this hallway? No, I don't think we will. Why not? Look, there by the stairs. See how the gate is opened? When we went into the kitchen, it was closed. But it's open now. What do you think that means? They opened it. Most likely. And if we take Route C, we're going backwards. That would be pointless. Then that means... Route D, then. D it is. Yep, Route D. Then we're set. Everything looks okay here. Let's check the next deck just to be sure. Yeah, just like I thought. D deck. Just like the bottom of the... At least the water... Small cup. May as well. Hmm. There are two elevators of just like... Hold on. See? Another... <laughs> huh? See? That seems... Oh, out, 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 out. What was that about the mark again? Uh-huh. Nothing. <laughs> This is a Mercury symbol. The horns symbolize the wings on Hermes's staff. Hermes herpes, whatever. If we can't get this thing to work, these elevators aren't going anywhere. In other words, we need a key card with the Mercury symbol on it. Probably. I guess we can't get on them. Let's just disregard the elevators for now. How about this hallway on the left? Whoa, there's so many doors. Damn it. I think the sun. That's. Well, we can come. Let's check. <sighs> and now the right hallway. <sighs> there are doors here too. <sighs> well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them. All right. Let's start. Huh? It isn't locked. <laughs> what? This place is... Oh, there... It's... It's... It definitely has the smell. Could be. Hey, look there. The left door says... The second... And the... Right. There's no doubt. Why is the second... That seems... No point worrying about it right now. Yes, that sounds... It's no use. Well, of course. If it was that easy to open these doors, what would be the point of the notary game? We have to activate the red or the... Wait a minute. What's wrong? Look, the display on the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you... Re if no one... Oh, yeah. But this... There's nothing on... Right? I wonder... Only one... Not risk. How about and Dorth? None of them. What? <laughs> Zero. No, you really would make such a stupid. Maybe, but that. I believe the bottom of the device has been removed. Snake. Ace. Clover. Seven. How? How did you guys? How did you end up here? That's my line. Perhaps we should exchange information. There you have it. Okay, let me see. When you guys got here, the base- And you- So, that there might be some- So you went and- Yeah. And while you were looking around, you heard voices. Uh-huh. So you followed the voices and came back here. Indeed. And that was how we found you.
Why don't we check those three reds again? You're right. Huh. There's a long, thin gap on the bottom. I think it's a slot for something. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. Well, uh, what about that hallway over there? Isn't there anywhere else? No, there are plenty more hospital rooms. Hospital rooms? Yes. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. There was an astrological symbol engraved near the keyhole, however. I was able to get a good uh, feel of it. Not again, those guys. I wonder what they all mean. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship. Well, I think chances are the gigantic. What is this gigantic? The she was actually a gigantic. They the British. It's she ran. What happened? One seemed like that. Soon enough, which was the gigantic. So you're saying that? Yeah, at least I think I am. That's imp. Pipe. What? That's it. Proof. Proof. That well, this so. Oh. It, no. Lie. Well, I don't know. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah. Hey! Yeah? Your point being? Wait, was I the only one that didn't know? Why? Oh, yeah. I guess I didn't tell you, huh? I told the rest of you. I told them. What? It sounds like the clock. 10, 11, 12. Uh, 12. It's midnight. Then we've still. We don't have. Let's get going. What do you mean? We've looked at that only. One? Uh, mm -hmm. Wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search. Don't freak. Four? We just have. If each of. There are. Uh. Hmm. All right, so everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll shout. I hope. If we. Right, then let's. It's one. I better get back to the others. What about the first class cabin on B deck? Okay. Maybe. Yes. <sighs> so, let's head. All right. Hey, wait. Sant? I doubt. Jump. No. Snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. I... I think... I'm gonna go with door seven. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. What? 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 If the zero... Have three, four, four... There are no... In other words, you get it? 
Oh no, you're saying. <sighs> hey, you got us. This is. We got all bets. You mean. Yeah. Prop? Yeah, I'm sure. What? Another one? Is there? I'm dead. He's not. Mm. Every. Yes. Mm. Anyway, Clover, I figure. Any prop? What up? All right, let's move. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's open. Let's do this! Hurry! <sighs> June. Jumpy. What the hell are you- Only no Look! <sighs> oh. it... <laughs> this is the second time we've gone through one. Whew. I would have thought. What? What the hell did you just say? Say. You! <laughs> you little. You want to die? I'd like to see you try. You fucking brat. All right, let's go! Hey, hey, calm down, guys. This isn't the time for. This. It's not gonna do us any good. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, wait here for a minute, all right? I'm gonna go see if there are any other doors. We just came through this door. There's a short hallway and an iron wall. This door's the only option we've got, right? Yeah. Hey, something's written on the door. On that iron plate. It says operating room. If this thing's telling the truth, there could be body parts inside here. Well, this is probably not going to be pleasant. Well, there's no... Might as well go in. Uh -huh. What's wrong? No, it, it's nothing. Let's just go. Huh? What the hell is this? Why don't we take a look? Hey, Clover! Ah! What? Clover! Hey, what's wrong? Wh what the hell is this? Is... Is this a corpse? We should probably take a closer look. Yeah. This is... What the hell? That's just a huge doll or something. A... D doll? <sighs> You're right. It's a man. <laughs> well, I guess it would have been weird if you actually had any balls. Shut it! Don't you start with me, fatty. Oh, <laughs> what's this? You want a piece of me short stuff? Yeah, bring it on, you whale! Hey, guys, not again, okay? <sighs> Jeez. Anyway, it looks like I'm talking about a heart, huh? Uh, uh, oh, this? You mean on his chest? Yeah. Why would there be a heart in a doll? I don't think it's a doll. You think maybe it's, like, a medical mannequin or something? Or maybe it's got more... personal uses? <laughs> Anyway, how about we take a look around this place? Okay. Sure thing.
We should go back? Yeah, I think that's probably best. Hey, Seven, what's up? Oh, is, is that a medicine bottle? I got curious about it. Ethylene diamine tartrate? Yeah, that's right. CDT. What kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Why would they have something like that here? Well, probably to clean stuff up. Clean what up? Fuck if I know. Still, it looks like it's cleaned my brain up. You remember something? Yeah. Well, I remember a story about EDT. Happened about 50 years ago. There was this factory somewhere in America making big old EDT crystals. <laughs> they were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner. But a year after the factory started up, something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Water... Once the crystals turn into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. The factory had just... But it didn't end there. After that day, the same thing started happening in EDT factories everywhere. Even when... They didn't, but not. In fact, ever... Even after... It was like... Like the molecules were commute transmitting this... Yeah, that, but... I heard another... When? In the freezer. What? Yeah. Hmm. Ice that doesn't... That sounds... Yeah. Do you? Do you know about Ice-9? Nine? Ice-9? Nine? Ice-9. Nine. Ice... Uh, that's it. I remember now. That woman, she's on this boat! That woman? Alice! Who's Alice? Come on, the woman who won't melt at room temperature! Huh? You know how the Titanic sank on April 15th, 1912, right? Yeah, more than 1,500 people died. Worst maritime accident in history. What about it? Did you hear about the boat that was sent to collect the dead bodies? Uh, I think that was... It was a cruise liner, just like the Titanic. No, that was the ship that picked up the survivors. The ship that collected the dead bodies was the C.S. McKay Bennett. The McKay Bennett showed up on April 17th, two days after the accident. It set out from Halifax, a port in Canada, and recovered 306 bodies. The Atlantic that far north was really cold. It would have to be for there to be icebergs and stuff. Anyway, the bodies they pulled out of the water were frozen solid. This isn't a very nice story. So, what happened next? Well, they say the McKay Bennett recovered something more than just dead bodies. There were various bits of stuff floating around in the water. Things the drowned had carried with them, or stuff that dislodged as the ship sank. One of the things they found was a coffin. A coffin? Yeah, a wooden one. The craftsman who made it must have been pretty skilled. It wasn't just a wooden coffin. It was all wood, no nails, no reinforcements, no gaps in the wood anywhere. The crew got pretty curious about what might be inside it and opened it up. They had to get a wedge and hammer it open. It was so Inside, they found a woman, or I, her hair was thick. They say that she looked, she was obviously dead, but everyone who looked at her said she just looked like she was, her skin was so lifelike, she looked like she, she didn't, like the rest of the body. Eventually, the McKay Bennett finished searching, the 306 bodies were unloaded and taken ashore. However, it was warm enough that they began to thaw. They say that the stink was horrible, but there was one body that didn't thaw. And that was... The girl in the coffin! That's right. 
Everybody thought for sure that she'd melt and start to rot like the rest of them eventually. But weeks passed and nothing happened. And a month passed. And another. It was summer, and she was still frozen solid. After a while, people started to say she was some sort of miracle. Rumors about her started to spread. People came to visit Halifax from all over. After a while, people started to call her All Ice. Alice. Of course, those rumors didn't last long. Why? Well, she up and disappeared. One day Alice was there, the next day she wasn't. They say someone snuck into where they were keeping her and stole the body. With the body gone, the rumors followed pretty quickly. After a while, no one remembered her. You might be able to find something about her if you could find a newspaper from back then. Wait, you just said that she was on this boat. Yeah, I did. Alice has got to be somewhere on this ship. Now why the hell would you say something like that? Because I know. And just what is it you know? What happened to Alice after she was stolen. All right. Tell me. Well, around that time, the word was that there was a special black market in New York. I've heard that Alice went up for auction there. The person who won the auction was Lord Dashiell Gordain. You've heard that name before, right? Lord Gordain. Oh, isn't he the guy who... Yeah, that's him. What do you mean? Gordain bought Alice in 1912, and he hid Alice somewhere on the Gigantic, but nobody knows where. He died in 1931, and apparently he died without ever telling anyone where Alice was hidden. However... However... Well, he did have one close friend who asked him, where is Alice? And he said, Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the Forest of Knowledge beneath the navel of the Gigantic. What the hell is that? Is some... Your guess is as good as mine. So that's it. Whatever you think, I believe it. She's hidden somewhere on the Gigantic. In other words, she's hidden somewhere on this ship. Hmm. Hey! What are you stop wasting? Okay, okay. Gee! Yeah, it might be useful some. Alice. That mummy wasn't, wasn't just, just a normal, a normal mummy. mummy. They, they say that she was frozen. Was frozen. The stories even... Then was that Egyptian? Did the... No, that, that's not... There's no... Hey, hold on. Oh, uh, what's up? Where's Clover? Huh? Oh, god damn it. Uh, sure thing. Hey, Clover. What's wrong? Uh, what are you doing? 
Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? Hey, Clover, can you hear me? My brother might be dead. Uh, huh? That's why we couldn't find him. If he's dead, I'm going to be next. What, what are you talking about? What's wrong with you? Uh. Oh, yeah. It's in my pocket somewhere. Um, ah. A four-leaf clover. Hey, did you know? Each leaf means something. Oh, that's what... Take it. Listen to me, Clover. No matter what happens, you have to... If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. <laughs> Snake. I, I mean, your brother. He's not dead. He's alive. Somewhere. I, I'm sure of it. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Now come on. Seven's waiting for us at the exit. Wait. Before we go, there's one thing I want to ask you. What's that? What do you think when you hear the word experiment? Uh... Oh. I guess it was just a coincidence, then. I mean, that you knew about the four-leaf clover. Uh... Look, I'm... I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't want to... Oh, no, no, no. It's nothing. Oh, don't... Don't give me that. Uh, you really think I could just drop this? What is this experiment you were talking about? You promise you won't tell anyone? Cross my heart. Really? Really. I can trust you, right? Of course you can. Okay, then. I'll tell you what happened on this ship nine years ago. Wait, wait, wait. You, on, on this ship? Yeah. It was an experiment to test some sort of psychic thing. Communicating through these fields that you can't see. Fields that you can't see? Like, think of... This is John, but... Huh? Isn't this like Locke's socks? Or the ship of Theseus? Um... You don't know? N really? Okay, well pay attention then. This... Let's say I've got a pair of socks. They're my favorite socks. One of them gets a hole in it. What would you do if that was your sock, Junpei? Well, I'd pitch it, I guess. But it's your favorite pair of socks! Come on, who loves their socks that much? It doesn't matter. Just suppose you do love them that much. Hmm, well, uh, I... Could... But what if another hole opens? I'd add another patch, I suppose. What if another hole opens? Um... Well, let's say until it... Once you get to that point, can you really say they're the same socks you started with? Hmm. Uh, well, that... Hmm, that's... Oh, that, that's tough. So, that's the lock socks thing? Yeah. The ship of Theseus is a lot like it. The ship, if you... Event, can you... And then the one... Hmm. Hey, do you think it's the same? What's the same? These guys. Is this John? Or is it Lucy now? Uh... John's head and heart are both his, but apart from those and a single arm, the rest of his body was once Lucy's. We're just like these mannequins. Think about it. The cells in our body change every day. Old ones die and new ones are born. Maybe part of my arm is made of stuff from a fish I ate once. Or maybe part of your right side is made from a cow you ate. If you take it a little further, those cows and fishes are made from something else too, right? That's how we're all connected. Through fields that can't be seen with the naked eye. Hey, what the hell has taken you two so long? How long are you going to make me wait? We don't have time to screw around. Uh, oh? What were you two doing? No, it wasn't. We were just... Just... Playing. With the mannequins. Huh? Let's go, Junpei. Playing with mannequins, huh? Didn't know you were into that kind of thing, Junpei. <sighs> You're a dick. All right, I'm gonna open it now. Is that cool? You don't need to keep asking, just... <sighs> All right, let's get going. Hey, man, what's up with you? You're so serious, you know? Can't you sound more... happy? <sighs> <sighs> Not really. <sighs> My brother... Might be dead. I'm going to be next. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. There too, huh? Every door in this place is locked up tight. How about that one? Oh. 
May as well give it a try. Jumpy! Huh? June? And Santa! And Lotus, too! Whoa! What the hell is this? What are you doing? What? But... Hey, guys! Look on the wall here. A map of the ship's interior? It says C, so it's the map. Door 7? Door 8? Yeah. We aren't gonna... We might get... Otherwise. That's how... I see. Wait a sec. Hey. Uh, oh. You've gotta be... We may as well... Yeah. Oh, uh, almost for... Ready? I knew it. We're back. In the hospital. I see. The six of you split. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the lab. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Right, Junpei? Yeah. Oh, the solar system keys. Actually, we found one in the laboratory, too. Here. I might lose it. It's probably... Yeah. Ah, we have three keys. Though. Yeah. The Jupiter. The Saturn. And the Earth key. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long... Well, um, we will be all alone in here. <laughs> Jumpy? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. It's... Come on, let's go. I said wait a minute. Why? Aren't you afraid? Afraid of what? Well, you know... It's your first time? I might... get wet. Uh, uh, oh, what? Down there. Well, I, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet. Yeah, somewhere else. That's... That's true. <sighs> you don't mind? Mind what? Getting wet. Well, uh, I don't know. I think I'd probably, um, you know, like it. Gosh, Jumpy. You're so brave. Really? Uh, I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know? What happens, happens, right? I mean, if you... You're so cool, Jumpy. Uh, that doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you ought to admire someone for. I'm... I'm really scared. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. Yes, so I don't think I'll be able to last very long. And then it'll be... over. Uh, over? Yes. I'll go to heaven. Heaven? It feels... Kind of like you're floating in space, and your mind gets all fuzzy. At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. Ah, uh, yes, I've, I've heard that too. Although I, I don't think the same thing happens to guys. Wh what? Huh? But it would happen to men too, wouldn't it? Once it gets into your body, the same thing happens to everyone. Well, I, I mean, um, usually it, it, it doesn't go inside the man. Uh, I mean, generally. Yes, it does. Well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Your body will force you to swallow some of it. Eventually. What are you trying to do to me? Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm just saying that that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. Oh, is that so? I know most men probably have larger lungs, but even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for 20 or, or even 10 minutes. Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs. Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore. And you'll start... Uh, 
Oh. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, you're right. See? <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor. Deep. wet up there huh at any rate we should probably go back as soon as we can lotus and santa might already be back okay good now then iron bars well we can't go over there oh. 